what I'm getting with this, especially with the chariot, is that we're learning how to move forward uh, sufficiently in an empress energy, in an unconditionally loving, unconditionally giving energy. Um, but the, the, the strong thing I'm feeling here, you guys, is learning how to do this from an empress point of view. It's all about this balance of give and take, you guys. Six of Pentacles. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be your general energy reading for your moment, <laughs> yeah? Keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys. Um, happy Friday. We're getting to the weekend, and it is officially October. That's fun. <laughs> Halloween is coming. Whoop, whoop. All right, guys, um, I don't really have much to say to begin, so let's just get into it and see what message we have for the collective today, yeah? Cool. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get into it. I'm using the Witch's Tarot today. I was called to dip this deck, so we're gonna see what we've got, yeah? Four shuffles, okay. But then, okay, never mind. <laughs> Four shuffles, one. Two. Okay, so there seems to be movement forward right now. Six of Swords is the overall energy. And then you do have the Chariot here, and you have that with the Empress. Um, and what I felt uh, when I saw the Empress was, it feels like um, we're really learning to move forward in... I, I just heard a divine partnership. Okay, the Empress is a self-sufficient individual, obviously, just like the Emperor. She embodies... Uh, she embodies the feminine side, she embodies fertility. What I'm getting with this, especially with the chariot, is that we're learning how to move forward uh, sufficiently in an empress energy, in an unconditionally loving, unconditionally giving energy. Um, but the, the, the strong thing I'm feeling here, you guys, is learning how to do this from an empress point of view. Learning how to be nurturing, caring, loving, but then also still having boundaries, okay? Uh, moving forward in... Um, with a divine feminine aspect really coming in online and I want to say sufficiently. <laughs> okay, two more cards here. Ah, I get it. Okay, so what you have now is the nine of wands and these cards were face down. So this is a little bit of an under the surface energy, yes? Nine of Wands is in reverse, and then you have the Four of Swords. There seems to be some sort of resistance that is being released. There has been resistance to really f um, honing or fine-tuning this Empress energy. And for some people, it was a situation in which I don't know how to place these boundaries and still be 
receptive I, I, and still be loving and caring and nurturing. There has been some sort of resistance to that. I want to I wanna pull a little bit more actually here and see what's this knight and knight of wands and four swords or at least what's moving forward here. What's next? Yeah. Okay. Uh, overall energy now. Yep, there you go. You have the Six of Pentacles here, okay? So um, you have the Six of Pentacles as the overall energy. So it was the balance between give and take. And there has been, a, 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 I, I, I guess, resistance, but it's also, oh gosh, um, I keep hearing neglect, but I don't think that's the right word. You have the Four of Cups here, okay? It, um, it's like the universe was calling you to get into this energy, was asking you to really honor yourself and, and you didn't know how to do it effectively. So it was something that you were just kind of like, mm, I don't know about that because you didn't necessarily want to destroy any relationships or hurt anybody or step on any toes or anything like that. You have one more card here. It's the Queen of Cups. Okay, there was a reluctance Reluctance. There was a reluctance to have boundaries. There was a reluctance to find boundaries. But there was an emotional understanding that came online for you to understand what it was you really needed to do in order to make these changes, in order to feel what it is you needed to feel or see what it is you needed to see. Okay. This might be a really short message. Hmm. All right. Um, let's move forward. I want to, I, let's get some clarity because I, what I really want to talk about more is, since we have our main theme here, I really want to talk about this Queen of Cups, Four of Cups energy, yeah? Let's give this four shuffles. One, oh, we're already moving into clarity and we've only, this is only six minutes in so far. This is crazy. <laughs> One. Two. Okay, so the other thing that I'm getting here is that you needed to take some time, this is three, you needed to take some time to really figure out what it was that you were feeling. And this is four. So whatever, and also what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups here is that, um, well, no, I already said that, right? You really needed to take some time to understand or figure out what it is that you were feeling, figure out what was, what was going on within. I feel like that's part of this resistance too, the lack of understanding, the lack of understanding what it was you were truly feeling. There may have also been some situations where some of the people around you were maybe kind of projecting. I don't feel like it was too much of a malicious thing. In most cases, it was again from a lack of awareness. Um, but. I, Either you need to or you needed to. Either you've done this already or you're needing to do this, but there's there was at least a need to figure out what it was you were feeling inside, okay? Figure out how it is you wanted to move forward here. Really get into, into a lot, divine alignment, there you go, with this Empress energy, okay? And then once you get you once you could really understand what it was your feet you were feeling, then you could the resistance comes comes down, okay? and you can move forward with a clear mind. Yes. All right, so what I wanna clarify here is the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups, please, Spirit? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, overall energy is the Three of Wands. Okay, so what happened, what happened here, or what's happening here, is at some point you need to or you needed to um, get into alignment with what it is you truly wanted to work towards, okay? Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Underneath that is the Hermit to the Two of Wands to the Star, okay? And then to Strength <laughs> and to the Queen of Cups and then Justice. Yeah, and then Three of Cups in Celebration. But what this is saying is there was a need to figure out, okay, where are we going here? And how is it that we move forward here, okay? And the hermit says you had to get down to the core of you. 
figure out who it is you truly are or figure out what it is you truly want and make that decision in terms of what it is that you truly wanted. Two of Wands to the star, okay? And it's taking a great deal of strength to move forward, but it's also taken a great deal of strength to figure out what it was you were feeling. Understand how it is you're feeling here, right? And that is the work that you've been doing and that we need to continue doing, to be honest. Eight of Pentacles, right? So the Eight of Pentacles is clarifying the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. Great. So then what I wanna clarify now is the Nine of Wands in reverse. What's the Nine of Wands in reverse? The Lovers. Anything else? <laughs> okay. Overall energy, we're back to the Six of Pentacles. This is all about the balance of give and take. So the Nine of Wands in reverse, releasing of resistance here. But in order to release the resistance, you had to figure out what it is that you wanted. You had to come down to a deep understanding of the choice for you. What was best for you? Was it best to leave the situation behind, the circumstance behind, or was it best to own, I heard own yourself, own your abilities, own your strengths, okay? there was an opposition between the Five of Pentacles and the Chariot here. So the Five of Pentacles feels like that energy of, well, the, the Five of Pentacles is an energy of lack mentality, not feeling good enough. For some of us here, this was almost like a FOMO, fear of missing out. This Empress energy, this loving, caring, nurturing aspect of you was heavily dependent on how other people felt, what other people said, how you could please other people. But then there was a realization of, well, I could still be this Empress energy without depleting myself, without giving everything of myself. And that's when you chose to come out of the Five of Pentacles and get into your drive, get into your divine alignment, the chariot, okay? One last card, it's fallen face down, and there you go. Seven of Wands, boundaries. A strong level of boundaries. And to be honest, those boundaries really actually, I feel like, generates a lot more respect for you. But that comes from having a level of self-respect to say, actually, hey, I need to, uh, we, the, the line is here, okay? It's all about this balance of give and take, you guys. Six of Pentacles, yeah? All right, I'm gonna keep this a really short message, you guys. I mean, this is really weird, <laughs> really weird. Um, let's go with the Liquid Crystal Oracle again, yeah, for our Oracle Guidance. The old package. Okay. Here we go. Let's get some closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for this short message. This is really unusual. I mean, quite unusual. <laughs> Two. One more shuffle here. And three. All right. Awesome. So what have we got going on? What's our closing oracle guidance here? Closing oracle guidance. There we go. This is beautiful. Howlite. Spiritual beginning. With this peaceful, loving, and gentle energy by your side, you are being offered a place of peace, calm, and solitude. It is time to reflect on all that you are and your greatest achievements from a balanced and peaceful state of mind and emotion. The time has come to gently cast away the attachments to your past and build the foundation of a new and beautiful direction or journey. Howlite is a doorway stone. She indicates to you today that the door is open you may pass if you are willing to look forward rather than back and take each step with love. Excellent, you guys. 
So there you have it. I almost feel like this is not long enough, but that's the message. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very soon. Yeah. Excellent. Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>